All of the variables that you see here, actually all of the variables in statistics can be classified as either a qualitative variable or a quantitative variable. But first, what are these? Let's go ahead and start with qualitative variables. Now these are often words, but they could also take on numbers. But the key thing is that these describe or identify, I want you to think quality. The other type is a quantitative variable. These are numbers, but these are numbers that either measure, count, or rank. Think quantity for these. Let's start with hair color. Now I know that hair color can take on values such as black or orange or red or purple. These are descriptive words, so that's gonna fall under qualitative. Next, we've got a weight. Weights are numbers, so we step on that scale and we get a number, and more importantly, those numbers are meaningful and sequential. If I have a higher number, I have a higher weight than if I had a lower number. So that's gonna be a quantitative variable. Next, we've got temperature. Temperatures also are a number, so quantitative variable would be a great guess. And these numbers, again, mean something. The higher the temperature, the hotter it is outside. So we're going to put this one under quantitative as well. But what about jersey number? So it's not true that the higher the number, the better the player is. Instead, these numbers identify one player from another. So we're going to put these jersey numbers under qualitative. Okay, next we've got pieces of popcorn. So I can count the pieces of popcorn. I'm gonna end up with a number for the popcorn in my bucket, and that number is a count, so it is a quantity. Driver's license. Now I put this one in here because this is actually an answer to the question, do you have a license? So if we were to look at the values for this variable, they would either be yes or no. Happens to be binomial, by for two, but the important thing is that this is not numerical. We're just identifying people with a license from people without. So this one is a qualitative variable. What about the next two? I want you to see if you can classify the next two. Maybe hit pause for a second and then come back and see how you did. I'm gonna do time first. Time is a number and as time moves on, it's sequential. I can put all of that onto a timeline. So this is not just a number, but a number with a meaning. So we're gonna put that one under quantitative variables. And then that last one is what year it is. So the year changes, this is 2018, changing to 2019. But again, I can put those along a timeline. So if you said quantitative, quantitative for both of them, you are right. Now, our quantitative variables can be classified further. This is only for the quantitative variables. They can be categorized into two different categories. One would be discrete. The other one is continuous. Now, remember, these are all numerical. If it's discrete, those numerical values don't happen smoothly. Here's a great example. So, Discrete could be like the number of emails in your inbox. Notice it's counting one, two, three. I'm not gonna end up with three and a half emails, right? Or 2.75 emails. These take on just certain values along that real number line. So that's a discrete variable. Counters are great examples. Continuous variables, they happen in a smooth manner, just like the second hand on a clock. So if I think about my age, for example, I'm a teeny tiny bit older, I'm a tiny bit older, I'm continually aging, right? So that would be a continuous variable. Well, what about the variables that we've got up on top here? Years, this would be what year is it? So we would be taking on values 2018 in the picture, 2019, 2020, but we wouldn't say that the year is 2020.5. So this one would be a discrete variable. Now we did look at time and time does progress continually. Time takes on every single value. It doesn't skip along marking the time. So that one is a continuous variable. Popcorn pieces is next. We are counting those popcorn pieces. And yes, you could have half of a popcorn piece, but you're not gonna take on 
absolutely every single value along the real number line. Like you're not gonna have the square root of seven popcorn pieces. So we're gonna say that this one is discrete, it's counting. What about weight and temperature? Where would you classify these two? Let's see how you did. Weight, as I am thinking about my weight, let's say that I just ate a cookie, my weight doesn't just skip up to the next pound, it moves up slowly to the next pound and down and up continually. So if you said continuous for this one, you are correct. The same is true of temperature. Temperature is also a continuous variable. You are doing fantastic. I've got another one for you here.